USU researchers and a high-tech drone are helping get a closer look at the floodplain along the Logan River. News Specialist Mike Anderson shows us how those researchers and city engineers here in Logan and Nibley are pouring over the data to better prepare for future flooding years. Many cities and counties depend on satellite imagery to do their floodplain maps. Well, with this drone, they're able to use infrared, which cuts through a lot of the trees and the brush that's out there that can block the images, seeing areas that they couldn't accurately see before. As the Logan River moves from the more average flows to what we saw at its peak last May. And around 10 o'clock in the morning, we saw that the Logan River had reached 1750 cubic feet per second. Ian Gowing says those types of major events bring a rare opportunity. To really map um, high resolution multispectral imagery of the river during peak flows. He's a research engineer at Utah State University's Water Research Laboratory. And on May 24th, he quickly got the lab's director on board with getting very detailed maps of the waters flowing over the banks using infrared technology. And that spectrum allows us to be able to see into the foliage and kind of see exactly where that, that water is. Darren Farr, Logan City engineer, says it's a major opportunity to now be able to pour over 19 miles of mapping and data that they didn't have before. Ideally, it will give them the chance to better see what homes might be at risk in future major events. And that has huge ramifications in terms of properties. You know, are they in the floodplain or are they not in the floodplain? Those red and brown areas giving a clear picture of where the water is flowing, cutting through just about anything that might get in the way. Gowing says they have important plans for the data too. We have a number of PhD students that will be doing some hydraulic modeling using the imagery that we've provided. Helping to better understand not only how the water behaves here, but how that information might help elsewhere. And those two cities and researchers will be looking over that data for months to come. FAR says that their mitigation system for the floodwaters performed as they expected during this year, but this will allow them to better prepare for the future in making those floodplain maps. Mike Anderson, KSL 5 News.